What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, season three of the Colorful Selection Podcast. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? We're back. We're back, baby. (laughs) Screaming. Uh, We're back. We're back. Let's see. Back. (laughs) (laughs) For good. I don't even know how many weeks we was off for, like three or four? Something like that. Like, like 52 or so? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Oh, we went cruising around the Bahamas. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> What'd y'all do? What'd y'all do? Did y'all do anything special? I played I... a uh, shitty game. <laughs> Which one? Chivalry 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking dominated some chivalry too, baby. That shit don't even fucking work. <laughs> it don't. That game sucks. But I like it. Like, it's fun. Yeah, it's... It irritates the piss out of you, and it only half works. Yeah. Oh. It's really fun, though. Like, it's like it's only fun when you're doing good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is hard, too, because they just they throw you in with, like, level 300s and shit. Yeah, even though, like, you're level, like, 15. <laughs> And then, like, for I too. Everybody wants everybody tries to fight you like five V one and shit, so you can't even have a chance. Yeah, that's, that's why you gotta stupid. play uh Battlefront two, bro, where uh people respect the one V ones. You know what I mean? I mean some people will get it <clears> and this one does. But like see like me, Jimmy and Eric fucking we always do like the three V three arena. And like yeah, if there's oh, like, yeah. I'm not spectating. Yeah, well, Jimmy's not spectating when he's allowed to play. Uh, yeah, it's like sometimes there's like us three and then like two on the other team. Like one of us is just fucking stand back. Yeah. Even if it's like. Down to the nitty gritty. One. Yeah, down to the nitty gritty, man. You got to give him a chance. Then, yeah. Like, some people but if he like, beats one of y'all, the next one jumps in. Yeah. That's how we do yeah. it. But we give them time to uh, like get their stamina back and make sure that they're ready. Yeah, yeah. like if you could throw your weapons at people, so like oh yeah, throw, like you get like two weapons and like if they throw like both of them at you, well like give them a chance to like go pick, pick their up. weapon back up. So like you're not fighting a guy with your bare hands that has a fucking claymore. Oh yeah, true that. Fucking head. <laughs> but some people on there don't fucking do that. Yeah. They just like you jump, you. jump you, dude. Yeah. We're just fucked up. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, everybody, welcome back to season three. Uh, we took a break. Try to get uh, everything better. Try to make always, it a little bit more polished. Yeah, you can always do better. Let's uh, give it up for Jimmy for the fucking, the logos and shit, dude. The artwork. And bug for Congratulations. video Somebody editing. Cue. <laughs> Somebody cue the keyboard. Right. Where's the applauses? <laughs> Where's the applauses? But, uh, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I think we had a vision, and I think we hit the nail on the head with it this time yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we really did. Like, uh, like I was telling y'all the other day in the Discord. Like, I feel like we're getting better at, like, like, what we vision, I feel like we're better at, like, bringing it forward now than, like. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. On another note, me and Madison, uh, did some, uh, Geocaching this past weekend. What? You don't know what geocaching is? Uh uh-uh. uh. You know what it is, Jimmy? I've heard the name, but no, I don't know what it is. Is it like it's rock hunting? Sort of. But like. Like Geodude, but cache at the same time. So you find you're hunting for a box full of Geodudes? Yeah, basically. No, but it's like <laughs> say like people will like hide like a box or something or like a little 
something the size of like a pill bottle, and like they're like hiding somewhere like in the world, but like they'll like mark it on a a map that's on the app, and you can like follow it, and if you find it, you like open it up, and, like write your name and shit in there. Oh, that's cool. And then like put it back, then like other people will come and do it. It's cool, like look into it. It's like really cool. But I, I got like. Mm. Three of them, I think we did. Cause, like, you need to get a thing home. to test radiation before you open the box. <laughs> a Geiger counter. Uh, Fucking Geiger meter boy. Yeah. Yeah, bring your pit boy. Like, uh, it's cool because you can like navigate like on the fucking the app, and like it'll like tell you how far you are from it, like three feet, four feet, whatever. Oh, that's cool. So they have like a track inside act- the box or whatever. It's, I don't think it's in the box. I think they just, like, put the coordinates in the... I don't know. Because, like, it's it's pretty accurate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're, like, yeah. three feet from that bitch, you're, like, three feet from that motherfucker. So I don't know how exactly they get it, like, so spot on. But in, and it's cool because they have, like, hints on there. Like, uh... Mm-hmm. Like, say the hint for this one is, uh, the one that we did was, like, low-hanging fruit was the hint. And it was, like, tied to a tree, like, hanging down and shit. It was, like, camouflage. It was tied to some dude's nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was low- tied to a smoothie machine. Uh, yeah, my mom did something similar with my uh, nephew. Because, like, here in town, and, like, I think some beach somewhat close by do it, but, uh, They'll have, like, a rock that they painted, like, the community painted up and shit. Mm-hmm. And they'll post a picture of it, like, to where it shows a little bit of a hint of where it is, but not, like, give away the full thing. Yeah. And you could just, like, go there and, like, find that rock and shit. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. basically like that. And, like, yeah, all you do is just, like, there's a piece of paper and you just sign your name and a date. And it's, like, it's crazy because, like, there was one that we I did yesterday i think it was behind a restaurant and uh the earliest date on there was like 2013 so like that thing's been there since like 2013 people signing their names and shit dang is it full of like like, whole fucking decade like some i guess some people like we found one that had like stickers in it and shit that you can like grab a sticker yeah and uh, some stickers in it is it full of little I say, like, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that was like Disney stickers or some shit like that for kids. But you know, it's me, almost thirty year old out there doing it. I guess. Yeah. But it's hey, uh, I found some of those rocks Jimmy was talking about. Yeah, like but it's kind of like, like that I'm people the, like the, the rocks, the asshole that, that forgets like, to hide them again. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that, but you don't take it. You. All you do is just put it back in the same spot. You don't oh, take yeah. it like you do the rocks. I found uh, cool. one at the like Chinese treasure restaurant right here, here in Wake Forest. Uh, uh, yeah, I found a good bit of rocks before. I think me and Madison, mainly at gas pumps. Because people was just like, oh, yeah. take them out and leave them at a fucking gas pump. What Bug's trying to say is he just found some rocks. He didn't find, like, the painted ones or anything. Yeah, he just found just, some normal ass rocks. It's just normal rocks I just put in my pocket. Yeah, yeah I found some <laughs> rocks. They were, like, right outside my door. Yeah. Because they know I'm going to throw a rock at it. <laughs> Fucking love that episode. <laughs> yeah, me too. Did you, watch that? Did you watch my car like I asked you to? No, but I threw some rocks at it. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, man. Uh, I did some poos. I did some poos. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, to to kind of, like, go over the uh, direction that we're going with the new season, we're going to cut back on, uh, like, predetermined topics and shit. It's more of, like, what we've heard throughout the week, uh, like, what we're, like, seeing and talking about. Kind of, like, we'll hold off conversations with one another for the podcast to specifically talk about it on here but if you want specific 
topics to be talked about, you should like let us know in the comments and everything, and we'll uh, we'll Chime go up into in the it. Comments, baby. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. Oh, fire off. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. What do kids brother. say these days? Slay. <laughs> Slay queen. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes <laughs> queen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, LFG. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what any of that shit means. Let's oh. fucking go. Uh, <laughs> oh, that meant, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hip. <laughs> 100, man. No <Yo>, cap. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm I... caught up. <laughs> I was trying to remember what I was talking about yesterday. Or what I was thinking about yesterday. I was going to oh. ask y'all. Think of it. Let us know. Yeah, In the meantime, know. Joseph. Yes. I want to shoot down your fucking alien thing. I was waiting on this, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, hey, hey, there's so even more on. now. There's even more now. There's, like, people that's, uh, like, zoomed in on it, bro, and, like, in the fence and shit, like, you could see, like, a, a little guy down there by the fence, like, he's looking through the cracks and shit. A little guy, yeah. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> not a little guy, but it's his head. <laughs> so, uh, most people, what I don't know if everybody say? that's uh, listened in, like, a lot of people seen this fucking post going around now yeah. about a UFO crashing into somebody's backyard. Everybody seems to be talking about it. Las Vegas, right? Yeah, Las Vegas, Nevada. So, all right. My first problem with this, if you listen to the fucking 911 call or whatever, that guy is way too fucking calm for a UFO to have crashed into his backyard <laughs> and two fucking 10 foot tall aliens stand outside of it. He's the only thing you're human, man. <laughs> like, he is way too calm about that shit. Yeah, so he's either on up. some kind of fucking drugs that's like making him hallucinate that shit, but yeah. handful of pharmaceuticals. Yeah, something like that. Second off, this is America. How the fuck is a ten foot tall creature outside and not shot? <laughs> yeah. no, hey, the dude in the video, the dude, the guy had a gun on his uh on his right hip, and his son was also carrying a gun too when they walked into the backyard. But instead of shooting, he did turn around run. <laughs> I think we're Anyways. getting blasted. Yeah, exactly. Another thing on the video that you sent us, the cop that showed up to the call cut his body cam off because it's private property. Like, I'm pretty sure they can tell the cop, like, oh no, show it. Like, this, like we're we're allowing you to. Yeah, but what about like like shows like cops? What you mean? Like, what do you mean? I mean, like I said, the the homeowner can tell them, like, no, it's okay, show it, or oh, yeah. like, don't show it, shit like that. But uh, yeah, like, why wouldn't you, you show think? It? Yeah, exactly. Like, you think a UFO is gonna crash in my backyard, and I'm gonna tell them, oh yeah, you can't show it though. Like, this yeah. is between yeah. you and me, man. Like, well, trust to, me. Well, be honest now, if a UFO really did crash in your backyard and the police showed up, like, they're not gonna let you show it. Like, I'll, you wouldn't have a. A say so and some shit like that. Like if a real UFO, you know what I mean? Like this is a literal fucking like trust me bro moment. Like yeah. I can't just fucking trust you on what you're saying. Yeah. And then the fucking the fucking like screenshots from the video or whatever alleged where you can see the fucking alien. That shit looks faker than fucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that is the furthest fucking stretch to be like, you see that little smear right there? That's an alien. Here, let me outline it for you. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that's, how, that's where it got me. Like, that could literally be any fucking thing. Hey, you never know, though, hell. Wait. It's probably I mean, the yeah, I don't know. Back the fucking forklift. So, could, what, what, like, what would be the thing that came across the sky? That is the part that I don't know, because, like, Eric, I was talking to him about this shit, too, and he had more 
things to talk about than you had originally sent us. Saying yeah. that there were hundreds of calls of the same exact thing. But yeah, like, like the exact same time or some shit like that. Yeah. My main yeah. problem is that it's a stretch, but that could have been something like completely unrelated and they just happened to be coincidentally called in at the same times. But like also you know how fucking easy it is to get a group of people together to come up with the same story to tell the cops? Oh, yeah. Like, think back Make whenever... A Facebook group or some shit like that? Exactly. Like, think about all the people that were supposed to go Naruto running at Area 51. Oh, yeah, like, that was that. so fucking easy to get all those people together and hype for it and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so, or the Antarctica... Uh, the Antarctica um, drone run. They was going to fly drones over the walls in Antarctica. Like, where we can't go. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's too fucking easy to start that shit. Just like the whole Flat Earth Movement shit. Like, it's too easy to get a group of fucking like-minded individuals to come up with a stupid fucking thing. <laughs> so, that's my fucking problems with the uh, thing. It yeah. could be real. It could not be real. My bet is that it's not. <laughs> Nose joke. And that's coming from somebody that wants to believe in aliens, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I, I just... definitely believe in that shit. I just don't believe that one. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. The, the pictures, because I never watched the video. Uh, yeah, I never watched the video. I just looked at the screenshots, and that was enough for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you investigate, bro, you gotta investigate it all. I investigate, like, the flat earth thing. Dude, I do it all, bro. I literally read into, like, everything. Literally everything. What do you think about the flat earth? Um, I don't know. It's it's a crazy, like, it's a crazy argument. You know what I mean? That it's a bunch of fucking morons. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way it's flat. Uh, yeah, there's no way. Tell everybody in the comments to come at me. But, uh... <laughs> there's, just come at me. There, yeah. there's too many fucking, like, photos and videos from space showing yeah. the Earth in a fucking circle. <laughs> like, yeah. Of a fucking... A flat circle. What, like an orb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. A, uh... The fuck is it now? I mean, Sphere. you never know. We could live on a plane. Yeah, like, uh... Like the damn Vikings believe, bro. Like this out here could just be like a never ending stretch. Like we're living on a fucking dimensional plane that's just going straight. Sorry. See, okay, so like, listen, listen, real quick. There's this argument for flat earth theories that like, okay, so if you're looking at the sky or if you're looking out like at the ocean and you're looking out as far as you can, um You can like see I, the curve of the earth. No, no. Your eyes can't see that far but if you take all right so if you take and watch a boat disappear with your yeah. like naked eyes or like the best eyes you got a human can have and then take a camera and zoom all the way in with this camera the boat reappears just like the chicago uh there was a chicago skyline like the the um like you know like seeing the city itself over the ocean or whatever and according to the curve theory like, there's no way you'd be able to see it. It's too far. But there's pictures of it. Like, there was a occurrence where it happened, and they made, like, a whole, like, a news thing about it, saying that it was, like, just some special occurrence that probably will never happen again, and where you, you could see it because of... They, they called it a mirage. The city was a mirage. But uh, there was the the dude who went to that right there. No. Uh, um, He went on to... Huh? Yeah. Ye- like if you're standing on the beach, you can see like the curve of the fucking ocean, dude. Like yeah. I can see it. I, I can see it. The higher that you go, like higher up you go, you can see more of a curve of the yeah. earth. So like that, like it's. But even airplanes, we've had people pilots say that that it's flat. Like yeah, all only the dumb ones do. <laughs> like, yeah, the not the, smart ones. There's, <laughs> but uh, there's and Buzz Aldrin. Well, I mean, you know, what I mean, like they're no, they're saying like they're saying like to their eyes and and to the airplane that it's flat. Like they show no thing for curvature. And to their eyes of all the years that they've been flying, 
it just looks flat to them. Okay. Um, and then there's another argument to where, say, if you're standing on the beach and you're looking out as far as you can and you say that you see a curve, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Comets passes earth all the time. There's videos of them every day that hit TikTok. There's uh, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff comes through our skies. It's always coming down. Okay. Now, if you're standing yes, on a ball, yes. now listen, listen, if you're standing on a ball and you're looking out at the ocean and you see the curve that you say you see, all right, the people around that curve, whether it be a uh, thousand something miles where land is or whatever, if a comet's coming through their sky towards your direction and you're looking out towards the horizon, wouldn't you see that comet come up from the horizon? No yeah. one's ever, no one's ever done that. No, it's a fucking gravitational pull yeah, from the earth pulling it straight gravity, to man. the fucking center. I get that, but it always leaves. Like there's there's ones that come close enough for us to see that leave that that come out of the gravitational pull. You see what I'm saying? Type deal. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not arguing that it's like true or anything. I'm just saying like the the way the arguments that they have. I mean, I don't have like models and stuff to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But uh plus we have We've had, you know, pilots fly all the way around the fucking earth. Yeah, but see, they, they claim that you fly in a circle instead of around because the fueling routes wouldn't make no sense. Like, there, you'd have to, like, investigate, like, dive into I mean, it. Amelia like, Earhart was even fucking, like, <laughs> attempting that shit. And she like, didn't make it. Well, obviously, <laughs> but... <laughs> She got eaten by crabs. Uh, and, I mean, all right, you so think one of the biggest, forever back. the biggest, like, um, like kind of like card that they have is like the international waters and only how like so far you can go. You know what I mean? So like, no matter which way you go out into the ocean and from any part of the land on Earth, you go so far into ocean to where they won't let you go no more. It's like out of bounds. It's like a game. They said, like, literally out of bounds. Like, there's Navy ships you can't pass. They literally point your guns. I've seen the videos of, like, little boats and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I sent you the guys that, where they point the guns at them and the helicopter came and stuff, told them to leave. They're like, they turn around now. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, so, there's like, such that circles, restricted areas. That, there's that yeah. Navy. Okay, but look, that Navy line basically circles. Like, it's in the water. It's a circle around the water. Is the way they're saying it. They're saying like you're you're not allowed to leave the land that we're mapped in. Argument and some of the stuff I've like dove into. I'm just trying to let you guys know what they're saying because you guys asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. I understand. I'm just saying it's like the like dumbest yeah. shit in the world. Uh, no, yeah, like dude, I, I feel like I understand, what, but like yeah, but see if you take all this into effect. And if you like watch them like demonstrate like or, or watch videos of like the ice wall itself that's through Antarctica or like planes, you know, where you can see it off in the distance, dude is like never fucking ending. Like, like just looking out that way on their phones and stuff, like that shit looks never ending. It's just nothing but ice. It's crazy looking. And that's like in yeah, different parts the of the world, of those people fucking poles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, like I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Like, too. It's like bigger than all of North America. <laughs> see, the thing is, like, when you dive into conspiracies, yeah. like, like, you have to, you got to put yourself in their shoes. So you can't, you can't, like, go, all right. So if you want to, like, look yeah. into, like, any, any kind of conspiracy, and this could be anything, even people who believe in lizard people, you can't just like, automatically look at the research and blow it off because it sounds stupid. Because you're researching. So you have to put yourself in their shoes and find why they believe this. Why is there so why many people that are so fucking... Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why is there so many people that, like, would give their life to... That they believe something so hard? Okay? You know what I mean? And like I even said back, back in the day before I started believing in the Bible and stuff, I believe that that was the same thing, that that was the biggest cold on because if you look at it, it's all conspiracy theory. You're reading a Bible and a book that uh, you can't really prove, and you're believing in something you can't see. And it's the biggest conspiracy see, theory, well, but I believe in that one now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I get that, but like, 
I feel like I don't think like it's stupid. I guess in a way. I mean, yeah, some yeah. shit's it, off the wall. It just all like, depends. <laughs> if there's some shit that is kind of like I guess you say believable, I feel like yeah. it'd be like easily nailed by like actual science rather than being like an actual stupid thought. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, um, just that art, right, dude, like, right. to be honest with you, I'm not saying I believe it, but like a lot of the things that I've dove into, like flat earth theory, like people have more evidence on what they, the fuck they talking about versus anybody else. And like, and I say that because we only get our information from like NASA. Like that's where we get our information about space. We do all, we get their pictures. We get, you know, we get their shit and every country's got their version of NASA. And then everybody comes together when it comes to space, like the International Space Station. So, like, yeah. when you when you like look at it through like their shoes, and like they, okay, like like they'll put up, um, like if you can go to Google right now and look up uh, pictures of Earth from NASA from like 2008 to like now, just from like those times right there, and or 1998 or some shit like that. And just like look at the group of photos and the continents are in different places. The fucking everything's like Yeah, that's changed over the years. Like countries yeah. don't fucking move, dude. Not unless you believe in Pangea. Yeah, you know what I mean? Do. So why why uh, tell us do. every every they, few years that it looks like this? Cause it does move. Yeah. Tectonic plates and whatnot. Huh? Yeah, it's like the whole like. I mean, I get that. Well, we're talking about like millions of years also, that that shit happens in, not in the past, the past ten years. years it didn't move across the, the fucking of shit like moves. country, like, like the world, like. Yeah. Yeah. The accuracy of. I'm looking at it as since now we have satellites and shit that are way more accurate. Yeah. yeah, but uh, you know, I'm talking about these are pictures that they put out as photos from space. Like this is NASA saying, like, "Hey, this year, this is what Earth looks like from space. This is our actual photo we took." And they every year, it changes. Just about every few years, it changes. Their actual photos, like of them saying that this is from space, it changes. That's not mapping. That's not tectonic plates. That's th them hey, well, this is crazy. changing just, what the fuck no. they do with computers over the years. What's I crazy like is just I just like... watched a fucking video of the uh, Earth from uh, the Tesla in space. Yeah. And that's not NASA. And it still looks round. Oh, oh yeah, well. <laughs> 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 well, I'm just informing you guys on what is the argument yeah. in here. So. <laughs> Uh, well, Bug, did you remember what the hell you wanted yeah, like, to talk about? Wait, wait. <laughs> like, oh, uh, hold on, go ahead. <laughs> how often is it? Was it, you said every year? I don't know, just look at like 2008 through, I don't know, like now, 2023. The different photos from Let's space see. of Earth. And see how much has changed. Because it, it says the Earth mass moved toward and away from each other, like one inch a year. Yeah, see, that's I mean, that's not that's not going to I mean, change the location of a whole country on a map or on a picture from space from a satellite. That that bit ain't moved thousands of miles up and to the right. <laughs> see, and even Buzz Aldrin, look at this man. He, I mean, of course, everybody doesn't believe the moon landing anymore. I mean, everybody knows that shit was fake. But like you know, he can, he was even coming out and saying, and now they're planning. NASA's just now planning a trip to circle the moon that we can't land on because we don't have the technology to land on. We lost the technology. Is basically what they say. Like we're not ready to land on the moon anymore, but we're going to try to circle it. That's our next goal. That don't make no fucking sense, dude. Yeah, see, that don't make no fucking sense. Exactly. But why? I heard and see, that they were see, now this circling the this moon. Is where Flat earthers are born from because I'm saying, not saying in the argument case, that's why, why 
they look at that right there that start looking at shit like this and then they ask like why and then what, what what answer can you get you can't <laughs> like it's just they look at different shit like okay like the international space station a lot of people are the they don't track across the fucking satellite in space how the fuck on a live feed there's no fucking way unless it's not in space And NASA doesn't have answers for shit like that. So or the, just, or the, there's just a rat green, <laughs> green glitches in their fucking, and, bro, like, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, in space on. right now. Hold on. And they're doing interviews, and this lady's fucking hair is standing straight up, bro. Dude, I'm talking about stiff as oh, a I fucking board, my boy. Yeah, that I is the that. hairspray to death, dude. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Come on. Hold on, hold what me. the fuck? Did the rat have an astronaut helmet on? Possibly, possibly. Okay, well, there's your there's your answer. That's how it's there it is. He, he was like Sandy of the space world. Yeah, Spandy's cousin. Spandy's cousin. Spandy. <laughs> Spandy. <laughs> yeah, but that's some crazy shit in there, dude. We're doing a podcast right now. <laughs> Whole season <laughs> three, baby. Talking about fucking. Hey, we said it was shit. off the dome this season. Hey, y'all just got <laughs> to get it un- nasty and uncut, baby. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. <sighs> or like uh, the rainbow. There, the one of their arguments about the rainbow. Okay, I watched a demonstration where it takes like some sort of like. Like okay, light reflects or refracts through, um, like raindrops as they fall, and in that split like nano fucking second, it changes and comes out the other side of the rain droplet, and it like reflects. Okay, well, rain a rainbow to have a rainbow, you have to have some kind of glass crystal. Or okay, so flat earthers believe the dome because that's our atmosphere. But if it, we live on a flat earth that goes forever, however it is then you never do know. But okay, so there, the argument he done and the way they done it is like they did a demonstration where they took a mirror, which is the reflection, and they used a flat mirror and they used water and stuff. And when he made a rainbow, but it was a flat rainbow, right? (laughs) And he's saying that the reason the rainbow is curved outside is because of the dome. It's reflecting off the dome, which makes it curved, is their argument on rainbows. There ain't no dome outside. (laughs) <laughs> so they ain't no glass of air, cuz. <laughs> nah, nah, they ain't no dome out there, cuz. That's These motherfuckers the argument like fucking on... Chicken Little. Yeah, the sky is falling. Like, yeah. Hey, I ain't, ro- ain't no dome roasting them though. I ain't roasting you guys. Like, you believe in what you believe in. Y'all got a good case. I like, I like, I like diving into shit like this. Hell, that's entertainment for me, dude. I love it. Entertainment. You just got to uh, think of, like, it's crazy how people think. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many different shits out there that people really, like, super believe in, dude. Oh, yeah, boy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so it's, it's cool to see their minds. Let's see. Yeah, it's... I don't think so. <laughs> any other... I mean, more, any power, other uh, more power to topics. them, but... <laughs> Uh, I've got another topic lined up, but like, I'm up. willing to let y'all talk. <laughs> no, go ahead. I was, I was just gonna talk about fucking uh the fact that I started back playing fucking uh GTA Five not too long ago. Did you? And uh, yeah, throughout the fucking break, I like replayed all of GTA Five's story. Got like a whole new fucking like, I guess like. I don't know, feeling for the game. Like, I actually enjoyed it this time around and everything, because I played it on PC. And I played it on PlayStation, like, 3 or 4 the first time around. And it just, I don't know, was not great. I feel like I hated the game. But uh, <clears throat> whenever I played it again on PC, you know, everything looks way better, you know. Everything feels more alive and shit. And got a new appreciation. Like, Rockstar's not as bad as I originally thought. 
Yeah, they killed cash it. cows. Like, yeah, they fucking love their money, but they fucking love their money, dog. Yeah, so, they do. Yeah, like the game is fucking good. And then right after I beat that, I started playing Red Dead Redemption Two again on PC. And I'm it's just I'm game. in love, dog. That game is perfect. Like I still ain't beat it. Game. Every tiny fucking detail in there that they fucking like put in is so fucking good. And mm-hmm. it just it really makes me hopeful for the next GTA game. Like if they put all the amount of detail that they did in Red Dead into the next GTA, that shit's gonna be a banger. Yeah, well. Like their characters aren't gonna be nearly as good as fucking Trevor from GTA five or mm-hmm. Arthur Morgan from fucking <laughs> Red Dead Redemption too, but yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a that's gonna be a real challenge for them. But uh, yeah, it just makes me hopeful because like I read where they have like multiple teams working on just the water physics alone, so like they're trying to like Jesus. make like new fucking technology type shit to make the water way more realistic, and it was already pretty fucking realistic on Red Dead gonna fucking crash everything just to... oh yeah most most likely <laughs> just to have like, the fucking water yeah like even my pc can't run or it could but i wouldn't get good frames if i put the fucking water on max on red dead oh yeah like so it, it's gonna be tough for uh consoles to uh be able even to try to run it yeah <laughs> because like, you either gonna have to choose good graphics and glitchy as fuck or either like PS2 graphics and really smooth. <laughs> like, uh... Kind of like square hands and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck CJ's hands from fucking San yeah. Andreas. <laughs> like, don't even get his fingers. But, uh... Yeah, like, whenever I was trying to get the, uh... Graphic settings set up for Red Dead, they said that, uh... Whenever they look at the actual settings from Xbox... I think it was the One X. It was before the Series X came out. They said that the... The lows on there that they had to set for the game to run good are even lower than the lowest you can go on PC. Like, they had to custom set shit, like, Jesus. way lower than the settings that a PC runs. For real? So, yeah, just to get the game to run smoothly. Hang on. So. Jesus. But, I mean, y'all do have a, a better experience with GTA Five now, if you play that on the uh, new consoles. Then uh, you yeah. can actually turn on ray tracing and everything. What they that? haven't added that to PC yet. Uh, ray tracing is real time reflections and whatnot. Yeah, shadows and stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh, real like ray, ray Yeah, it's each game does it differently, but uh, the main things that they focus on is like real time lighting, real time shadows, and real time reflections. Dude, like the sun reflecting off a car or something. Bro. Yeah, so like, whenever you're driving, you'll see like buildings and everything where they would actually be on your car and everything, mm-hmm. like That's in detail. Cool. Yeah, like if you walk by a mirror and everything, mm-hmm. it'll be like dead on. Yeah, all kinds of shit like that. I've been um. There's like there's like two two games that like are recently fucking Jedi Survivor did it with fucking the Shattered Moon dude when I landed there. Like it was just like. I don't know, dude, looking up in the space and shit, and, like, you're on a moon, and it's, like, broken to pieces, and you're walking, it makes you feel like you're going to fall, like, in real life. Like, that's how good it looked. I was like, oh, my God, dude. And then, uh, the forest in, um, The Last of Us 2, when you're going going through the, like, woods and stuff, and the the sun shining through trees, that shit is beautiful, dude. That's, like, perfect. Ain't it? So you're talking about like the fucking uh, God rays and whatnot. Uh, God yeah, rays? yeah. G- God rays is whenever like a light beam is coming through something, shit like that. How the fuck do y'all know all this? Yeah, <laughs> I read a lot about PCs and like all the fucking technology that goes into yeah. video games. I was about to I throw this throw something stuff. at you about it. Uh, Another, you want another? I know another flat fact about the the sun and light rays. He's talking about. I mean, since you brought up the oh, the, the God rays, 
I mean, it's just because, you know, I dive into this shit, man. So I know. Um, okay. The dome so, that's so. over us is uh, acting mm-hmm. as a magnifying glass. Yeah, I mean, not not mm-hmm. all the way, kind of, maybe. That's I guess that they, they could say that way. Um, but they think the sun is, like, a lot closer than what it is, like, that NASA says it is. That it's not way the fuck off in space. You know, hauling ass. That it's actually circling like all the continents on the map and the reason they say that's closer is because the the rays he's talking about where it shines like uh say if it's like light if you're looking at like a far picture of the sun shining through uh the clouds and the more concentrated light like right in the middle you know what i'm talking about that's shining right through they say that the sun is close closer to us because it does that in the middle that if you was to back a back the uh, light source back, that there's there's no way it could like why would it pinpoint one area unless it was closer? Is the way that they say. Yeah, but if you it, back up the light source, it like spread out more. That, that it would do that. Not... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely that the sun is uh, revolving around us and not just a different of dis- densities in the clouds like yeah it's definitely that though <laughs> yeah we're, we're the center of the universe everything revolves around us yeah. <laughs> that's what my child thinks too yeah. <laughs> everything revolves around just the just another that's fact fine. i threw out there or not fact but you know thing a theory from them oh they i saw this thing i'm looking at them right now also but I saw it the other day. I was talking about like if the whole fucking world stopped spinning instantly. Oh yeah. Shit will like take your fucking head off, dude. Yeah, like you just go fucking flying and shit. Yeah, like you'll like legitly probably explode. Like you, everybody in the world would explode at one time or something. Oh, like I that. imagine. Like I feel like the Earth would turn into like, like the biggest hurricane. And like instant tsunamis and shit. How fast does it spin? Let me look that up. Pretty fucking fast, but uh, while while you're looking that up, the uh the other thing that I had read about, think about like uh, if we were on a flat plane or whatever, towards the <clears throat> edges, would be so fucking hard to like climb up, because like of how the Earth would be built, that like, motherfuckers would be like sliding off the fucking sides like so if you're here and say earth is or say north america is the center people in like fucking japan and shit would just be falling towards the fucking center and shit because yeah. of you know the fact that we're fucking spinning and everything oh uh, yeah like uh, yeah. you're saying if it was a disc with off. edges yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I don't think they think it spins. Stand on a fucking merry-go-round and fucking spin that shit. Yeah, well, see, the reason they think... Okay, so there's two different theories. You can think of it as we are on a disc that is inside of a glass dome, or there's the theory that we're on a never-ending plane and the fucking power-hungry people like control people, these narcissists that run the fucking world keep us fucking in this, like, spot to just so, you know, we fucking keep working and doing all the shit we do. That's the, that's the theories, okay? But if it's the never-ending plane, um, like it's not spinning. They don't. I don't think they think either one of them is spinning. I think that they think that once you go past the ice walls that's around, our, like that holds our continents and waters and stuff in, that um, that there's more land. And because of General Bird or whatever and the fucking Nazis and their fucking Project High Jump uh, documentaries and interviews and shit where they said that they climbed the ice wall and done it at like an expedition outwards and found greenery and uh other civilizations and shit that was like higher beings than us and then you know that also people think that that's the people that was here before us or here with us at, with the egyptians you know all the weird shit that they have in their walls and stuff them higher supreme beings and shit that we wasn't worthy and they left us like here and went to other land on this flat dimension we live on and that's where aliens come from would it would they would come from the other civilizations that that live around us that's their theory and man i wish we could get fucking neil degrasse tyson on here 
<laughs> right? Uh, uh, <laughs> and and that every every spot that's like you know every hundred thousand miles or whatever the fuck that our circle would be would have three luminaries. It would have um the sun that's close you know that's or close that circles us and the moon that circles us and then there's also it's supposed to be like a black moon out there somewhere that the uh i think the egyptians talk about the um the romans i do believe they talked about it there's a couple different uh cultures like through history you talk about this and that that's where the because they say that when the eclipse happens the closer the sun gets to the moon you should be able to see like the moon perfect but you don't you don't see anything but you know a sun and then out of nowhere this black circle that's the same size of the sun like enters in front of it and that's the black moon that comes around every so often for the eclipse and shit that's like it spins circle like is i guess slower than the sun and moons in our region and i guess every other civilizations, regions around the dimensional plane we live on, uh, have their sun shits that revolve their areas too. And that's why in between it's idle. That if you look out of a plane, they go forever because there's no sun and shit that revolve there. You keep going until you hit more land where they have a sun and moon and shit that's local. Just like ours, they keep life here. <laughs> and then I guess, uh, you do like the Vikings to get in the world tree and get to the next dimension with the ice giants and shit. <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah, dude, I, I tell you, I, I literally I fucking dive into everything, dude. Like, I, I, I research like hell. Crazy. The earth spins at a thousand miles per hour. And, uh, coming to an instant stop, your body is like, I think I said 75% of dying at 43 miles an hour of a dead stop. Oh, yeah, I can believe that. So, like, like, because, like, the trauma to, like, your vital organs and shit is what I said. Yeah, so, like, like, say if you fall out of a fucking plane or some shit and you hit the ground, it's technically not the fucking, like, uh, impact? impact that kills you. It's the fucking sudden stop. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, like, you basically die at a sudden stop at 75% chance at 43 miles an hour. Could you imagine a thousand, dude? Yeah. If the fucking earth just fucking Like, stopped. you would just fucking implode, dog. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you see, like, just everybody fucking explode nothing. at one time. You wouldn't even see it, like, probably. The whole fucking shit's earth crazy. would be a red mist. Yeah. How fucking wild is that? Red yeah. mist. Like, I saw that the other day, and I was like, dude, that's fucking wild. Now I'm scared of the earth to stop spinning. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How far are we up there in time? Around 48 minutes or so. Not too bad. Not too yeah. bad for a first episode. Mm-mm, off the fucking dome. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting the whole episode of be about fucking flat earth but I ain't either, yeah I me mean, neither yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck it it's, in it. it's uh informational I guess if uh I guess the more you know <laughs> alright look we're not fucking scientists here this is all <laughs> yeah yeah for real it's all it's theory and speculation Tyson, please, please yeah. uh listen to us and uh shoot down this man for <laughs> putting all this <laughs> false information out there put us on your fucking, book report uh, educate everybody we're one hundred percent accurate. <laughs> I can believe everything we say. That man's Good. so fucking smart, and he even he's <laughs> even in uh one of Avenged Sevenfold songs. <laughs> like All right, uh, yeah, I guess I'm. Uh, we're gonna end it there. Yeah, before we ramble we'll on. on on another fucking ramble tangent. On. Yeah, I know. But, uh... Let us know good to be what back. you think in the com- comments. <laughs> yeah, off in the fucking comments. Again, that. give us your topics if you want us to talk about them. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll first definitely, we'll right definitely talk. Else is wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, appreciate y'all listening. You know, we're uh, we took a break from fiction. We're gonna start that back up. That way, it was good to be back. Oversaturated, like Jimmy said. Yeah, we don't want to so oversaturate anything too much. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah we'll see y'all fucking next week dude hell yeah yeah see I already know <laughs> alright later 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 pause pause, pause.